Hey everybody, Zach here, and I got a fun video for y'all this week. So I made last week uh, some parts for a local machine shop here. Uh, this is a uh, strainer lid. Uh, it's a 10 inch tri clover cap, a 6 inch tri clover ferrule, and a 3 inch tri clover ferrule all welded together here. So this is going to go on a pot lid and some food product that goes down through those uh, strainers which I'll throw a picture in there uh, and filters before it goes into the pot uh, I made these to the print I was provided with and uh, it didn't fit so I gotta change these up here to make it fit um, fortunately it was not something that I goofed so yeah let's go ahead and see if we can make these fit I'm gonna go ahead and cut that one ferrule off on the lathe here uh, we'll turn it down on the Monarch behind me here. We'll go ahead and prune that guy down and see if we can make it fit and then go ahead and weld on a new ferrule. All right, so we machined off the ferrule from one side of these caps here. Now we gotta go ahead and put another one on here. Now, these are really thin. If these were thicker, what I'd probably do is just go ahead and really lightly fuse them all the way around without back purging them. However, these look non-standardly thin. So I'm worried about burning through and sugaring the back side of them. So I got my purge tree out here. So this is just basically a big aluminum block with a hole milled in it that lets argon flow out the top here and then I've got a piece of quarter inch pipe that goes through there connected to an air fitting where I can feed argon from my bottle over here up through here and purge parts out so I just I'm gonna run this through my table here screw this guy on here connect my air hose which is an argon hose through the table and now I have argon that I can use to back purge through my parts here so since half this part is already done, I can just set it on here. And now I have argon flowing up through that hole in the center. I can just go ahead and put that guy on there. I can put a purge plug in the top of this and purge this out. All right, so always before I light up on a very expensive part like this, just the cap here is about $400. I think these are about $100 a piece and that six inch ferrule on the other side is I want to say $120. So big chunk of money here plus the time it took to get it this far. So always I keep copper blocks around my table here. Light up on it. Make sure I got good shielding gas. Everything is good before I actually light up on the part. So I got about 15 cubic feet per hour flowing through my purge tree here in the bottom of my part here. I've got a purge plug here in top. This one has a little vent hole in it uh, that 15 to 20 CFH works really good with these. And I am just going to kind of eyeball this to get my alignment on here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the purge plug in there. I'll probably just set it on top when I am ready to weld. Being very careful not to move it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get a tack on this guy here. All right, so I got a tack on it. I'm gonna go ahead and check. And it looks like I'm good. I'm gonna go to the other side here and then I'm gonna pull down on this because as that tack cooled, it pulled the part this way. So, looks like we're good. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my plug in there. I'll go ahead and get another tack on it here. Alrighty, got 
got another attack. We'll double check. All looks good. We got a nice tight space all the way around this guy. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and fuse this guy and run all the way around here. didn't burn through the ferrule, so I'll have to go in and fuse the inside of it. But on this cap, I'm a little worried about warping it, so I'm trying to put as little heat input into this as I possibly can. I was running 100 amps on my Dynasty 400, and I'm only about half to a quarter foot pedals. All right, I hope y'all enjoyed this week's video. So this is just a little job shop project here that I had to get cranked out. Uh, like I said, yeah, 10 inch tri-clover cap with a hole machined in it for a three inch ferrule and a six inch uh, strainer basket that goes on the bottom product flows in the top here. This sits in a pot lid and then you have your strainer that's designed to catch any crud on the bottom of it. Anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Thank you all for watching. All right. Oh, let's turn the welder on.